Thank you. Zaki. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Siglap is considered a little bit like the Holland village of the East. This is of a Scandi Lux kind of modern design. There are quite a lot of symmetry in this home. So in totality, you can have seven bedrooms, which is technically future proving. So welcome to Franco Estate. Right behind me is a freehold inter-terrace. They're just located almost in the middle of the Siglap action right here. So if you are new to District 15, welcome to Property Brothers Landed Home Tour. I'm going to show you this inter-terrace that might amaze you if you are looking for a newly completed home. Let's go. So first up on the location, this is right beside Siglap Centre. Siglap is considered a little bit like the Holland Village of the East because this is where all the action is in terms of food, in terms of cafes, bistros, supermarket. Of course, this is where residents living in the Franco Estate Lander Enclave goes to. Plus, what's going to happen next is that you're going to enjoy the convenience of Siglap MRT Station because that's where the Thomson East Coast Line on this portion of the D15 as well as D16 will be completed. So this home, has just been completed in Q1 of 2022. If you're hunting for something that's immediately available for your family to move in, this will be very suitable. So land size on this plot is 1956 square feet. This is on a freehold tenor. In terms of total build out, that's approximately about 3,400 plus square feet. We have a total of six bedrooms here. You have a choice, of course, to cut it into seven bedrooms as well. Later, I'll show you how to do that on level three. We are in the two-story mixed landed zoning. And this is a full-on build with two levels plus attic. This is of a Scandi Lux kind of modern design. So very beautifully done by our owners. I want to pull you back towards the car porch because the width that you have which is 7 meters, together with the steel sliding panel gate mixed with aluminum materials. That columnless kind of concept allows you to park in two cars. 7 meters width, 26 meters depth. That allows you a lot of flexibility in terms of design. And later as we tour upstairs, you realize that in terms of the bedroom, this is done quite differently from a lot of the inter-terraces that we have featured before. Now, how to come towards the sliding panel. So over here, you can open up everything. So you can put we'll open the four panels towards the left and right side. That can open up towards the front. Beautifully done. I'm going to enter here. Yeah, lot already. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also can be a very nice place for you to host parties because that's the reason why our clients actually install the ceiling fans right on top of the car porch. So let's have a look at the layout because firstly, because of the depth of the land, traditionally, I mean most inter terraces right now, if you are going for like a lot of brand new, smaller plots that qualify to be inter terrace, they usually start off with about 1615 square feet. Most of the time, it's about 6 meters width and of course, in terms of depth, it really depends on the land size. This is pretty well balanced in the sense that not all inter-terraces can park two cars. So firstly, this inter-terraces has that extra luxury. Living room size is pretty fantastic. Uh, just have a look at the size of these huge couches. The theme of the home is more towards the modern Scandinavian kind of design. Let's flip over a little bit towards the shoe cabinetry system right here because all the shoe cabinets inside done with dehumidifier systems. A lot of top processes has already been done by our clients and of course this has been occupied with less than one year. You're almost buying almost like a brand new home. So if you were to look at the current construction timeline, most of the homes if you were to buy an old landed property, minimally you set aside at least 24 months for the entire build period and build process. Of course that's provided there's no delays in between in terms of the application of BCA as well as piling works in terms of materials as well as the construction process and things like that. So this home is very suitable if you don't want to go through the hassle. This is where the dining space as well as the open kitchen is being done. And I just like the fact that the kitchen is actually located here and that is being flushed of course with this very beautiful skylight right from the top. So if you want to appreciate a little bit about the whole blend and the colour palette of the home is being done with this huge marble-like tiles, of course, flush all the way towards the back of the home. And in terms of segregation, you have, of course, your car porch, main hall, dining zone, and that is done nicely towards your dry kitchen. And then, of course, you have a wet kitchen pantry as well as your yard zone at the back.
Orientation predominantly north-south and this current granny room is being converted into a kids' playroom. If you want to make this into a small bedroom, this is doable. It has its own AC. It can also be a room whereby you can put in your study desk right here and can work from here. So I would suggest that if you want to convert this into a study room, this is how it's going to look like. So you can do up like an L-shaped corner desk right here. So you can take one side, your spouse can take one side. At the same time, because of the see-through glass right here on... Oh wow, this is really solid solid material, just like the material of this, all right? And um, because of this see-through glass, even if you were to close it up, you would all the ACs right here, you can still see what your kids are doing at level one. Let me move you towards the dry kitchen area. So this portion here, you have your wine cellar, beautiful countertop that's flush right here, facing towards your dining space, Bosch induction cooker, basically four burner system, entire suite of appliances here under the Bosch brand. Storage space definitely ample because you have top hung all the way that is being flushed underneath the stairway, beautifully done. So over here, as you can see, you can still saw loads of stuff right under the stairway storage and of course pull outs soft closure two door fridge there's another like a wet kitchen zoning right here this is of course where you do your dishes as well as your storage with your kitchen cutlery appliances and of course a lot of pull outs towards the bottom as well as a Bosch dishwasher if I want to flip over yeah I take the coffee first thank you yes, sure. this one ah? yeah. thank you you want to take your coffee first We also noticed there are quite a lot of symmetry in this home in terms of its design as well as the furniture placement so very beautifully done but most importantly is because the home was designed in a sense to bring in brightness but at the same time it's not warm because there's no direct afternoon sun facing if you were to move towards the back so this is the first bathroom standing shower towards the back beautifully done with cold flight features you still have an additional bonus bathroom right here this is also like a nicely done laundry table that is a fixture and at the bottom this is where you put in your washer come dryer Steigen system at the top of course Steigen has a heating element remote control you can just bring it down right behind me this will be the helper's room of course if you don't have a living helper you can use this as a utility storage room <laughs> D15 is the second largest landed enclave in Singapore. Of course, the largest one will be D19 with about 11,000 plus landed inventory. In D15, we have approximately about 9,000 plus landed land plots right here. What this means is that this is an extremely big landed enclave and this is one of the very interesting areas where you have predominantly private properties and landed properties. There's a very miniature percentage of HDB properties. Along ECP, you'll notice that the high rises are usually private condominiums that's facing towards the seafront and then right behind them will be landed enclaves largely landed properties within the Franco area and then as you move towards the central zoning Teluk Kurau area as well as the Katong area before you move on towards the Mayer area and one of the reasons why a lot of you love to live in D15 is that in terms of connectivity it's so easy to get to almost to everywhere along ECP so here towards Suntec towards Tarun Paga is just a short drive along East Coast Expressway and with the MRT station that is just going to open next year. What this MRT line is going to bring you is that you will cut across towards Marine Parade Central region and then you will head in towards Marina Bay, Orchard Boulevard. This is actually one of the most anticipated MRT lines that a lot of people are looking at. So if you were to own a freehold landed home that's within walking distance towards the main Siglap enclave as well as the MRT station, I think there's a lot of value for you to hold on to for the next 5 to 10 years. <music> Sometimes when you're hunting for a landed home, you want to notice in terms of the segregation as well as the balance of brightness into the home. What you want to look out for is, of course, the sky terrace. And uh, if the sky terrace is done correctly, you're going to get a brightly lit air well like this towards your main stairway. I need to bring out the floor plan of level 2 and level 3 because this home was constructed a little bit differently. If you were to look at a typical inter-terrace floor plan, you're going to get the master room occupying the entire front of the home on level 2 or level 3. Architects like to put the bathroom facing towards the front of the home with the bathroom opening towards either on the left or the right corner. However, this home is created a little bit differently. The front part is being divided into two portions. Firstly, you get a nice huge room right here 
that fronts towards the home. And of course, you have a walk-through balcony right there. The master room that faces towards the front still, but occupies half of the width of the home. It goes into the center core that allows you to have this super long walk-in wardrobe space, as well as a bathroom that faces towards the back of the home. Most of the time, you get a huge master at the front, and the center part is left right in the middle as a family zoning. And sometimes, if you don't utilize the family zoning, or if it's too narrow, it's not a very meaningful space for you to utilize. But what our owners have done is that they have then used that family zoning to be part of this portion of the master room. And then that creates a lot more usage of space to allow three very good sized bedrooms within level two. And this uh, beautiful master ensuite is so nicely done. You have a his and hers right here. Standing shower space as well as a beautiful bathtub. This is supposedly to be the center part of the home. Super huge walk-in wardrobe space. You have your resting zone, you have your dressing table zone, and yet at the same time, you're linked towards the balcony with your kid's room also. So if you were to head out, this is the view that you get. This is, I think, a very beautiful playroom that I think your children would love to have. So uh, you can also put in two bunk beds right here, or double-decker. This can retain uh, the concept that you might want to have. And most importantly, just tuck right beside that is mommy's room. These are vinyl flooring, very durable. Storage room right here, pretty deep. And of course, this can also be doubled as like a level two pantry if you want to. Another room facing towards the back of the home. Currently, it's used as a baby room. Two beautiful baby cot right here. Very cozy room. And of course, ceiling fans are being done for the rooms. This is uh, of course having a Jack and Jill concept to the common bathroom. And standing shower, beautifully done with uh, grow hay for things premium and fantastic and almost immaculate. Let's talk a little bit about the Cat 1 to Cat 4 kind of category because pricing has moved right now in 2023. If you were to look at what is going on with some of the brand new, brand new landed homes right here in D15. If we talk about land size between 1,615 all the way towards 2,000 square feet, the current asking price is between 6 to 6.8 million. You are technically buying the time and expertise that these developers has sunk into constructing the home. So that is of course one of the plus points uh, to buy a brand new, brand new home. Cat 1 homes are homes that are very suitable if let's say you want to build your own design. You get to see homes that are in between the range of about 3.8, maybe to about 4 odd million dollars. Put in a 350 to 450 dollars construction cost. That will probably bring you to close to about a 2 million dollars construction cost. Add it in, then it will then bring you to close to about 6 million dollars. Between this Cat 1 and Cat 4 category, there are two more categories. One are homes that are about 20 odd to 30 years old. Suitable for A&A to tear down. A little bit wasted sometimes because the design is still okay but belongs to the previous uh, season. So those are homes that are very suitable for you to sink in six to a million dollars, revamp the home. And of course, the third category will be homes that are about 10 to 15 years old. You can just do renovation for about five, six hundred thousand to refresh the home. Now this home does not belong to any category because it belongs very close to category four. I was called category 3.8 because it's brand new fully rebuilt from scratch and it was just COP last year. It was constructed with the element of future proving. Level 3 right now only has two bedrooms but where's the seventh bedroom is basically at this demarcation right here. So you can put in of course a wall, a hollow block wall or partition wall to recreate back your seventh room. So this is one room by itself, it has its own AC. This is the second room and then of course you have the third room that's located right here. Similar setup to what we see on level two. Currently, our owners have combined the six and seven room into one huge gigantic family room as well as a home office. So you can work from here, very nice setup. And then as you flip over, you get this very nice sitting couch, family TV zoning. Everybody can be at the same space at any point in time. So level three also has nice, beautiful walk-up balcony. So level 3 also has its own walkout balcony. Walkout areas are extremely important for a landed property because you want to have a nice balance of outdoors and indoors. And of course, similarly, this has two rooms facing towards the front. So in totality, you can have seven bedrooms, which is technically future-proving. This can be a multi-gen home that can last for generations. And most important is freehold in status, 
5.6 million dollars is the asking price comparing to cat 1, cat 2, cat 3, cat 4 pricing with cat 4 being 6 to 6.8 5.6 for something that is already ready in the market less than 1 year old but your family can move in just straight on after the 3 to 4 months completion phase this is fantastic because you save time you don't have to rent outside and then you can move in quickly together with your family <laughs> Alright, so we've come to the end of this landed home tour at District 15 Franker Estate. If you like what you've seen and you want a physical tour of this home, give a call to our listing managers. The numbers are right here down below. If you want more details on the floor plans, virtual tour, as well as to see other parts of this home in terms of its description, as well as land size, dimensions, the link is right here at our landing page at propertylimbras.com. And thank you for staying tuned with us at Property My name is Melvin Lim, and I'm uh, very happy to show you the place. And we'll see you on the next home tour. Take care. Ready? Go. So the land size. Everybody can be on the same level. Everybody can be on. <laughs> Lucky just hit his pinky toe. <laughs> this one, this one's a bit cute. <laughs> at the laundry seat. Oh. <laughs> Come.